But yeah, and then Eva, so Eva Marie and Dewdrop have a not match, so the match doesn't happen because she pinned her before the match started. So why doesn't the match still start? Yeah, I don't know. And then on top of it, Rhea Ripley going did her. I almost thought Charlotte got out of the got out of the ring because she was trying to calm herself down because she was going to do something. Maybe, maybe she was just that pissed and the impact angered her. Could be. Yeah, I don't know. This was weird. I mean, and, if, and then she got back in the ring, and that's when Nia ran at her. She holds the ropes down, and she falls through the ropes, and then she lands on her feet. And then Flair dives out. They kind of do some stuff out in the, you know, on the outside, and then she kind of—I I don't even know. They get back in the ring, and she gets the, the weird DDT dude, at this point. There's a lot of weird. I mean, Jake, there's a lot of weird stuff, dude. They had a, and now. Now, they, they may have been doing this on purpose. I don't know. So this could just be part of what they planned. But they got a collar elbow tie-up. That collar elbow tie-up we're talking about. Yeah. They, they're back. They are, like, really pushing each other and fighting. Well, yeah, they start getting in, and they really get into each other. Yeah, and they got weird. They, they look legit pissed. Yeah, it was almost like like Charlotte was fighting her. Like, and, and then they, as they back, okay, so then Charlotte, like, it's not she a, chops her at one point too really hard and then hits her in the knee. And I was like, oh, that looked like it hurt. To break up the um, call it elbow tie up, Charlotte ripped her hair like to the right, like ripped at her hair. And, she, and Nia Jax is kind of like, what the fuck? And then after she did that, then Charlotte Flair slapped her on the side of the head. That's where it really started going for me. And I was like, oh my God, bro, what the fuck are they doing? Then they kind of looked at each other for a while, like stared at each other, like laughing. Almost like, are you really doing something? Are you doing something? What's going on? Are we working? Or like, that's that's what it looked like to me. Like, are we working? Are we not working? What are we doing? But it, now, that may all be part of it. It just looked really good. If that's the case, yeah, it looked could, really well, good. Even the Samoan drop that they did, because then she gets her around the neck, and then she can't really get up, and Naya's kind of checking to see if her mouth's bleeding. And like you said, she hits her in the chest a few times, and they start just slapping each other. And then Nia's got her by her wrist, and she tries to get her up for another Samoan slam. And then that's when Charlotte's got her, and she's holding her, and she's holding her. And then eventually she gets that weird DDT and then knocks her to the outside. It's just weird. Because, yeah. like, she runs at her, she runs at her, and then she stops running, and she gets picked up for the Samoan drop again. Yeah, it was like everything. And then she just stays up top, and she then she gets back down. Everything like that, they, they would have like a and then she clotheslined Charlotte weird off the rope. That looked good. I mean, this stuff looked good to me. I actually enjoyed it because I was like, man, what's going on here? Holy yeah, shit. Like, it's weird that they actually seem like they were like, re like having a rest because they're so weak now. The A lot of the women with their yeah. bad forearms, they look terrible. You know, Charlotte. And then, you know, she mocked her with that ass thing. And then later Charlotte remocked her with it. You know, the kicks looked really brutal from Charlotte. Like, And they didn't look brutal. They looked worked, but they looked more intense. This and match that power was finish, I mean, holy hell. Yeah, you know, and I got to be honest, man. Like, this match, um, there was a lot of shit going down in this thing. Like, it was crazy. Like, it was like they, they were doing some shit in this match. Weak now. Like, I got to be honest. I was, I'm was i surprised at what they did. Um, And quite honestly... I kind of liked the match, like, pretty good. Like, I can see why you liked it. I can honestly, because it had that realism to it, and I get it. Uh, it just, it's to me, I was more stuck on the creative part. Like, there was no one to root for. It felt like a mess and a waste and, and a total... Well, I'm ma uh, I'm mad just, that Charlotte got pinned. That pisses me off. Well, that's but, that's what got me really she, angry at the end. She shouldn't have been and, in the matches at all. That's the problem. Yeah, not even a non-title match. Just it, it doesn't make sense. Like you said, she just shouldn't have been there. If they're gonna make her be in the match, of all the times they do end things in the DQ, why did Nia win? I know they're they're building her up as that Charlotte's next challenger, but now she beat Charlotte. So what's the point? We know she could beat Charlotte. You know what I would have done is, I mean, like. This match was getting pretty nasty. I would have had Charlotte like get disqualified or something at the end, or just that's have what a, I'm saying. All or, the times they have DQ finishes, why or, not? Now? Or you know, why not a count out where they're both beating the shit out of each other and they go through a table and then there's a count out. I, that would have been nice because that's kind of where this match was going. This nastiness was building. Man, this was a great match. I got to be honest. I'm watching it again now. I love. I like this match. I've changed my mind. I, I sort of said earlier it's a six out of ten. This is a good match. I'm gonna watch it again later and try to decide. 
But I got to be honest, they're doing all kinds of stuff, and this is pretty. This is this is the a, a match where Charlotte is doing different things for fucking once. She's I know, doing, but she dropped her. I mean, hard on the oh, back of her neck and head. Good God, man! I'm watching it. They're beating the shit out of each other. I mean, it, it had to have been a shoot. People are like shoot fight, total work. What do you think? I I don't know. I it, that looked painful i i that's why i can't stand naya because now it looks like at that moment where she lifts her up and she slams charlotte back by dropping her she fucking drops charlotte and after that happens there charlotte gets pissed and it just gets worse so i think yeah it is extreme bullshit if they face each other at extreme bullshit something was going on something was going on here and beforehand well i'm just saying either something was going on during the thing and they were getting like off and on like off and on nasty. Like there was a spine buster by by Nia just now where Charlotte didn't even seem to know what was coming and that's where she rolls out of the ring. She gets spine busted, picked up and spine busted and Charlotte kind of went to put her legs down cuz she didn't I don't think she knew what was coming and that's when she rolled out of the ring and started walking around outside. Yeah. And well cuz I think Nia got pissed cuz Charlotte kind of sandbagged her the second time for the Samoan drop. Right. Yeah, but I don't think it was intentional because they started slapping each other before that. I, I don't know. It's it's just it's weird. The, I love it. I don't know, man. And they might have meant it to be this way. This was some old school like, like I'm telling you, man. I've seen this sort of thing before in a in a in a match that did become a shoot. But this, but it doesn't seem like a shoot to me. It just seems like they are maybe they're having a hardcore match at extreme rules and that's what this is supposed to be the story of look at how brutal they are and now they're going to have a real brutal match at extreme rules i mean that seems to be where you would go and, and i'm telling you dude i'm sorry this is really for 30 good. seconds there was no selling yeah a, a couple and a couple times for 10 seconds there wasn't and it was weird i'm saying at that point for Ooh. 30 seconds there was no selling yeah that suplex was wild and uh, it was wild when she she stopped addressing all of that you know, she just kind of so acted Naya, stiff. According Naya, to our best friend, Bill Badass, <laughs> uh, Bill Butler, he, uh, he said they have beef, but I they haven't got, seen They look else like they got, anything. dude, they look like they got something. This whole, this fucking well, he, match is he's weird. He's just fucking saying it because he didn't have any sources or anything. Yeah, yeah. You don't know. But then they're selling. It, just then, because it looks like it, you can't say, oh, they have beef. Then they're doing moves that are planned and they're, then they're selling. So, but. I mean, listen, sometimes you can say, like, dude, let's go out there and fuck each other. Like, let's just go. I mean, that happens. So they may be doing that, and that may be what this is. Like, you know, you let's you want to fucking play out there? Let's go play out there and see who can fucking be more brutal. You want to do that? You know, that can happen. That could be happening. Yeah. Um, and, but, and speaking of happening, did you hear that uh, WWE sent out an internal memo saying Adam Cole is no longer with the company? That's a weird thing to do. Why would you do that? To tell everybody don't talk to him and don't be tall and like, whatever? I guess they sent out an email to say he's no longer under contract and no longer with the company. I heard, I saw that, but it's like, man, that's so weird. Why would they, they... they do do that now. They let the, the, the staff know who's released. So they're like, this person's let go, this person's let go. And if what they're not that? released, then they say, like, this person's done with the company. Okay, this is weird. All right, I just saw it, Jake. This is weird. Charlotte Flair boots Nia Jax. This is the moment that tells me something's weird. Nia yeah. Jax boots. Okay, Charlotte Flair boots Nia Jax in the face. Nia yeah. falls down, gets up, or starts getting up with her face forward, trying to like pick herself up. Charlotte immediately grabs her in a guillotine. And then as she's putting her in a guillotine, she just releases her for no reason. So Charlotte randomly releases her for no reason. And then Nia mm. is, is standing up now and looks at Charlotte. And now Charlotte's looking at Nia. As Charlotte crawls on the ground... So Charlotte's now selling like she's hurt, and Nia is standing. But a second ago, Charlotte she kicked her in the choked. face and was guillotining her, and then she just let go of the guillotine. And now Nia is standing, and now Charlotte now gets to her feet wobbly, stares at Nia, who's now staring at her, all, and now Charlotte slaps her in the fucking face, uh, in the side of the head. And yeah, then, and that's when they start slapping each other. Yeah, and then Nia sl- like pushes her, but in the face. And, and then, then eventually she, Naya grabs her wrist and kind of like turns it too, if you notice. Yeah, and now they start really scrapping, and then Charlotte's almost got a weird look on her face that she wouldn't normally have. And now and you now, got like thirty seconds of no selling. Yep. You that, know? Now, now she slaps her back. Now she slaps her back, and now they're laughing at each other and they're having some kind of slap out fucking. And Naya's really slapping now. Now Naya slaps her Vader slaps. 
slapping just like Vader would meat hook you. Yeah. This is fucking weird. I, I just want to say that that was confirmed by T- PW Insider that that he has not signed a contract extension and he's done with NXT. Adam Cole. That yeah. Is. Well, it's sense. not like we're just pulling that out of thin air. Now Nia Jax is trying to pick up Charlotte for the Samoan drop. Charlotte's blocking it and and front and and guillotining her, front face locking her again. Yeah, which, which is you never see this. You never. No, and she see was this. like picking up where she left off. It was bizarre. Yeah. She's like, no, I'm gonna do this fucking front face lock shit to you. Okay, now I'm gonna now now Charlotte runs off the ropes, and now comes at, at Nia because she wants to jump up on her and okay, let's go do the spot we're supposed to do where you Samoan drop me, but but Nia doesn't know what Charlotte's doing, so Nia isn't really ready to to pick her up. So Charlotte just jumps on her. And then Nia gets it like, okay, yep, we're doing that. Okay, we're going to do the guillotine. But while Charlotte's on her, she's ripping at her face all fucking strange. And ripping, and then she, okay, I'm going to get on you now. And then Charlotte yeah, just gets on her. the elbow to the face looks like it hurts. And like you said, set everything off. And now they've got this weird reverse choke that Charlotte's got on Nia, who won't bend backwards. And Charlotte yeah. won't bend forwards. And now Charlotte's arm is bent fucking bizarrely. You never, ever see a move like that. And then well, Char- Charlotte, they throw each other backwards like a Russian leg sweep, and Charlotte covers her. Watch after the pin. That's the most important part, because she sits up and laughs. The pin Charlotte happens. Does. She no-sells it. Well, Charlotte, the pin happens. Charlotte pins her, and then Charlotte gets up and like kind of stares off, licking her hair. And Nia is now up, like rolling her eyes. No, I'm saying like. for the finish when Charlotte loses. Oh, I know, I will. Yeah, I'll keep watching. We're yeah. describing the whole thing. This is just totally okay, weird. Yeah. The referee is talking crazy shit right now. Referee is talking some crazy shit, and I think the referee might be saying, "Okay, girls, like let's get back to what we're supposed to do and do the deal." Well, and from go. what I'm hearing, look at the ref. Uh, He's talking to them right here, like, "Okay, guys." Uh, Charlotte was upset, Joe, because she didn't want a job to Nia tonight. Somebody I usually talked to had said this. And it makes sense allegedly but it, it's from a pretty trusted source and it because says that Charlotte did not want a job to shouldn't Nia be losing a champion she had an attitude about losing. it all night she argued with creative apparently so Charlotte started bullshitting in the ring and Nia went in on her and after the pin Charlotte no sells it and sits up laughing it wasn't good after they got backstage so she was upset that she's a champion that's losing absolutely she's dead right fucking she's WWE's right. retarded Fuck them and Fuck Nia got Vince. pissed off that she was bullshitting on her in the ring yeah and naya doesn't naya does have a beef because it's not naya's fault that they want to do this yeah but and naya knows she's being pushed for a title match so charlotte was kind of fucking around and naya elbowed her and i mean charlotte off. charlotte should have gone out and fucking done her job instead of getting mad um but charlotte's right but she shouldn't she's i wrong. wonder if it was the guillotine let go that pissed her off well also naya jack sucks in the ring so you add oh this dumb fucking asshole who's gonna hurt me and this stupid fucking booking all combined for one big, I'm going to get fucking pissed off out there. That's what this is, dude. This is some fucking crazy. This is, I'm going to watch this match again. This is my favorite match of the night. I'll tell you that right now. And that's because of this shooting that's going on, which is pathetic. But that's, I'm sorry. Like, it actually, in old times, I would say this disqualifies this from even being anything. But I, I'm sorry. This entertained the shit out of me. Because like I, I thought it was good before, but I was like maybe I was wrong, and then I got mad at the at the fact Nia won, so I was like, all right, throw that out the window. But now yeah. I kind of like it. But yeah, Nia winning is horse shit, and I think it was Charlotte recently, or wasn't it Charlotte, or was it Rick, or somebody recently said like champions losing matches is stupid. Somebody recently said that. It somebody like, recently said that, and I I think it was Rick. Might have been Charlotte, but I think it was might have been Rick. <sighs> But it's like this is right up that bullshit alley. Yeah, and D. Wells, you're right because it, it, we brought that up. There was that slam where she dropped her backwards. And that's then just they one thing. Shooting. There's a million things in this match. That's no, just I, one. I know. I'm saying that's like the the biggest example because that's that's a huge alley. <laughs> so now they know they're going into the ending spot because the referee has said, "Okay, like let's go do that thing." So Nia gets up and staggers and turns her back to Charlotte telling Charlotte, okay, go do the clip thing we had planned. Charlotte does the clip, then kicks her in the back, then kicks her again. So now they're now they're doing their spot right from that moment after the referee says, okay, and the girls are like, okay, let's do our fucking how we're supposed to do it. So now Charlotte starts doing the stuff, but she's doing everything harder. Oh my God. And after, oh my God, dude, after she hits her with that leg thing, she punches her. Charlotte 
pushes her in the head with her hands, then does her ass mocking thing, which I don't know if that was how much of that was planned. Then obviously I don't think it was personally when she, you see it. She gets shoved into the corner. Naya looks like she's like been through a battle at this point. Naya's like walking around like what the fuck? Like now the referee's talking to Charlotte, checking on her. Naya comes up over to her. This is and Naya, you know, Charlotte's playing dead, you know, at this point. Charlotte's playing dead. At this point, maybe Naya Naya might be wondering, fucking, is this girl gonna fucking take the job here? Or what like are we gonna have a because you're fired, right? I mean, that they fired Enzo or whatever. Then Nia just kills her on that fucking powerbomb. She fucking spike powerbombs or just throws her on her fucking back. Like, and then Nia's like, I win, fucking, finally. Raise my hand. Her face is fucking red. Nia Jax's face is fucking turning fucking Massasoit Native American red. Like, I mean, this girl's fucking face is red. This was a brutal fucking battle, unexpected battle. And Charlotte Flair lays on the ground selling it for a while, so I don't know the smiling part that I haven't seen that yet. So Nia is still celebrating. Charlotte's still out. Um, Dude, this match, I'm going to study this match later again and see where this starts going south. But this is fucking weird. This match was awesome. Cause, cause Charlotte was, dude. Charlotte was doing like she was really putting everything into the kicks and the punches, and the kicks and the punches were still worked. It looked like most of them, but it's like she had more power like into everything. And then once in a while, she was hitting her. Nia is laughing as she gets out of the ring. I mean, she's red as fuck. This was crazy. Okay, now Charlotte sits up, and now Charlotte's kind of laughing, but she looks beat up. Rolling around, you know, on her butt, grabbing her hair, kind of laughing. She gets her belt back. Charlotte, Charlotte's got a bit of nasty in this match going on. And um, it just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense that Nia Jax won, you know, beat her for no belt. That should have been a championship match because that was it, so it fire. Been. And Liquid Motion, is, yeah, it definitely feels like Charlotte to AEW confirmed. Yeah, kind of. I, I, I don't know. We keep saying that. And then they, what, give her the belt again and give her more time? I don't understand. Yeah, I, but they're giving her the belt to, like, satiate her ego, I guess. Or be like, no, please stay here. We'll make you champ. We'll take it away, but then we'll make you champ again. It just seems like they're going to keep taking it away so she breaks her father's record for the female Did you side. just donate to Joe? Vinny, Did you Mama, ju- uh, you know, Max Caster, you got to go on Cameo. So many people didn't hear that. Um, just for the people that missed that, here's what I said earlier today on Twitter. I was dicking around. I didn't even tag him or anybody. I was just like, oh, well, whatever. I was just fucking around with Max Caster. You know, I don't know. He's. It's pretty sad. I can rap as good as you do. I got more YouTube subs than your crew. You got canceled by your boss just for jokes. So now you want cameo. So your ass don't go broke. Should have went woke. Because even if you're black. You can still be fired if you catch any flack. How about that? Yo, try to battle back and I'll destroy your body with an inflammation attack. COVID-19 coming up into your spleen. So mean, I'll rip it out and then eat all your dreams. Like Mike Tyson. Max Caster, I'm like Mike Tyson. That's nothing compared to what I'll do. I'll take the mic, spit fire, then eviscerate you. You soon gonna be a miserable man Standing alone by yourself at the dance Pissing your pants Chicago's bottom lounge on September 2 Man, I haven't been as pathetic as you Since I was 16 in 2002 Good luck, Max A.W. to I, uh, Now, so apparently Apparently Max has responded to this And apparently Max has responded to this With a rap I mean, are you concerned, Jake? I, I'm, I'm a little nervous. Yeah, I'm can. I'll be. I don't know, or or it's just like somebody edited it. You know, it could be one of those things. We'll um, see. Made fun of his cameo. Then I guess somebody, you know, what I mean, they reached out to him, and I don't know. I guess th- let's. I guess this is it. Hold on a second. Let me. Oh boy. Let's see here. Uh-oh. Oh boy. This is real. No Uh-oh. way. Uh-oh. This is going to get weird, bro. 
I can't believe it, dude. Thursday night in Chicago, you guys have a chance to go see what the hell this guy's going to do. Yo, listen. This is Platinum Max. This one goes out to Joe Cronin. Oh, no. Joe Cronin's show. Yo, yo, listen. Yo, this is Platinum Max. This is for Joe Cronin. Oh, you got a podcast, man. Now I'm groaning. You and every other dumb fan online. I scrolled on your Twitter. Hey, don't try to rhyme. How you been alive for like 40 years and you still a virgin who can't grow a beard? So Joe Cronin, I'll put you on blast. Hey, if you want me on your dumb podcast. Oh. $11,000, Venmo me. <laughs> that was... Damn. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, shit. Listen. Red alert, motherfucker. Holy shit. Look out. 